Hey GearHeads, it's TJ with GearReport.com. We're here in Cocoa, Florida, my homeland, with uh, Clint from Diamondback. And we're going to talk about the DBX 5.7. Uh, we saw it at shot, didn't get to fire it. So we're going to see what yeah. special about it. Uh, yeah, for, for those of y'all that saw it at SHOT Show, I mean, there's a couple cool things that's changed since then is uh, we have made a few improvements. Um, uh, let's just start off right off the rip, right? Um, the reciprocating charging handle, we added a slight cant to it, right? So what we were having, we had an issue where people's finger was rubbing the Picatinny rail up here at the top. So we added a slight angle to give you room for your finger to not grind on it. Um, we also talked about how it's uh, interchangeable. You can take it over, same ambidextrous, pull it out, insert it to the other side. And uh, we also added a bolt catch to it. And that was one complaint that we had during SHOT Show is people said there was no last round hold open, it didn't have a bolt catch, didn't have a bolt release. So it's actually in a very pretty cool uh, location here. If we look over here on the left side of the gun, we added the, the bolt catch. Rack it back. And it's right here. So when you do your mag change, you're coming up, your thumb's already there. Right. You know what I mean? And it's very comfortable. You can get your whole thumb on it. It's not something that you really have to push. It's very natural. And uh, thin the firearm is. That is probably one of the biggest perks of this firearm that it's the majority of the whole firearm is right around an inch wide. You know I mean, of course, where the mag well is, a couple flare outs, that's where we exceed an inch. But that was our main goal was to try to keep this thing light uh, thin, somewhere I can put it in my backpack and carry it in the, you know, the back seat pocket of my truck if I need it to. But the 5.7, you know, why the 5.7? Why the 5.7? Well, Ruger came out with a pistol, right? They had their 5.7 pistol. Um, FN has their pistol. It made more sense to have an eight inch barrel platform that you can get a little more velocity out because we, the 5.7 was known I mean to have a pretty high velocity out of a, a you know a small bullet and let's let's give it more potential and uh, a regular handheld pistol would look kind of goofy with an eight inch barrel but uh, this is just the all-around package now I mean things three and a half pounds um, and then after you put your red dot on it you, you know you're still under four pounds you got a 25 round mag where uh, this this particular one takes an actual FN mag, yeah. so if you already have an FN, that mag will fit. Pro Mag also makes a mag for it, so you have those options there. And we're hoping in the future to also have the um, Ruger version out. That'll take a Ruger mag. So uh, we talked to a, a Ruger a few times and trying to, you know, figure out a few things. But um, we're hoping to have both options there, and then. We're hoping this is going to branch out to other calibers as well. You know what I mean? Like, so you may see this thing slightly modified in nine millimeter. That's, okay. I mean, we're constantly moving forward, trying to come out with new stuff. Um, the pistol brace, it's going to come with the pistol brace. And it's, I mean, very easy to manipulate, lightweight. Take your time. Oh, I am. There we go. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. You got the Picatinny in the back so that if you ever did want to do your SBR paperwork, you can go ahead and add one of those uh, Scorpion stocks or whatever, and now you have a little SBR. SBR paperwork. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> you have your QD attachment in the back, so if you're trying to just run a single point hanging off here. I mean, this thing's light enough that you feel like it, it should have a side holster for your leg. Let's just get down to like the, the meat and potatoes of it. It's a dual piston gas system. Okay. Right. And before shot show, when we went out there, there was no adjustments. It was, it is what it is. This is what your gas is going to be. So during all this coronavirus stuff that gave us time to work on stuff and waiting for parts. And that's been probably one of the biggest holdups is this, okay. the whole virus situation and waiting on vendors to get some parts to us. But now it has a four position adjustable piston. The beauty of that was the 20 grain bullet, the 40 grain bullet, they did not perform uh, equally. Right? So when we tried to make the uh, five seven work with the uh, 20 grain, it wound up beating the gun up when we shot the 40 grain. And then vice versa, if we made it shoot the 40 grain, we had issues with the 20 grain. So that's where the four position piston came into play. Um, 
it's a dual piston, four adjustments. So you'll basically be able to turn your gas off, suppressed, 20 grain, 40 grain. And that's gonna, you know, save, you know, make your gun last a long time. The trigger, I mean, this is, it takes an AR mil spec trigger, same with the safety. So if you have your favorite ambidextrous safety selector out there, you can drop this thing right in here. Same with the trigger. You can go ahead and put your, you know, your favorite uh, AR trigger on there. Hand guards, M lock. It'll come with the Magpul hand stop here. Since this is such a small package, we wanted to at least have real estate for your hand and lock you in, not worry about, you know, getting your hand up there on the barrel. Uh, it's also going to come with uh, one of Magpul's slimmest pistol grips that they have. So we wanted everything to be tiny, so it's that's why we stayed there. It is a reciprocating charging handle. You have pros and cons of that. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's so high up on the firearm that it's out of your way. And I know there's some um, non-reciprocating uh, non firearms that you know do act as a forward assist, but for us, this was very easy for us to allow you know you know pull checks, make sure that we had a round and chamber, or we can actually bump it forward in case. You know, we got a piece of trash in there, um, but it's a, I mean, it's a cool fire. I mean, shooting it is uh, zero recoil, and uh, I mean, it's fun. Thanks for telling us about it. It would be awesome if we could go to the range and fire it. Absolutely. Let's go do it. Let's go to the range. said no recoil, I was like, oh yeah, everybody no recoil. Alright, we, we did lock back that time. So, that, that's no joke about the low recoil, that's insane. So this time, I want you to shoot it like a pistol. This thing weighs less than some of your 1911s. There's no jump at all. Trying to get lined up to the side of the camera here, too. And we locked open. Good. That's the type of thing that you can talk about, but until you feel. Right. It's like that, that is really a feat of engineering to have, uh, you know, the power required, you know, for what it was designed for. And then. The other thing with this brace being folded, yep. you can Doesn't still, say. you can come in here, you got something to hold on to. Oh, so yeah. if, I'm, if I'm shooting over, shooting around the corner, I still have something to hold on to. Good stuff. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.